What's up, guys? Welcome from South America. I'm currently in Bolivia, um, Santa Cruz de la Sierra, which is a city in the southeast of Bolivia. Um, has nice climate, has cheap living expenses. I'm hanging out in my apartment here. And I've been living in South America for one year now, and I bought a one-way ticket from Germany a year ago. And I want to talk a little about what motivated me to do this radical life change. And I'm just going to take you out um, to show you the city a little bit here in Santa Cruz and um, talk a little bit about moving here. Why I did that and if I regret it or not and maybe whether it's the right choice for you. Right, so why would I leave the Western world in order to go to a developing country and live in South America if I could live in the beautiful Western world like Germany? People thought I was crazy. People thought I'm doing the wrong choice and people actually actively try to stop me in any way they could think of. They got really creative. It was amazing. So I didn't care and I continued on this path anyway. And originally why I came here is because I started my own business. I started working self-employed and I was just making 300 bucks in the beginning. So I was fucking broke. And the inflation was rising and rising and rising in Germany. It got more expensive and I, I figured there was no way I would make it in Germany. So I just came here because I had a choice. Continue working a job that I fucking hate in, in Germany or take a huge risk and move to South America instead and uh, make it here. And then I saw this video of a guy in Medellin, Colombia, where he said that he makes 300, no, he lives off 300 US dollars a month in Medellin in Colombia. And obviously that was a ridiculous proposition, but because I was making this amount more or less, I took the choice and I bought a one-way ticket to Colombia and I came here to South America. Now I'm in Bolivia, super cold here. We have a wind from South, uh, Southern Argentina, from Patagonia. So I'm walking around in a jacket and all, even though we're in a tropical zone. And um, have I regretted that decision? Absolutely not. Because the second that I came here to, Bo to South America, I actually uh, tripled my income the, the first month and I could live here quite comfortably. Um, pretty quickly so I haven't regretted it for even one second and it was one of the most significant life changes that I ever did and I would do it again the, the costs are raised, rising in the western and developing a uh, developed world there are woke insane people the the culture pissed me off and those were all reasons why I said personally fuck it I'm gonna come here and uh, yeah, I've been living a cool lifestyle here. I've been um, traveling around South America. I've seen a lot of countries. I've been clapping some Latina cheeks and um, working full-time self-employed now. So if you think about pursuing this lifestyle as a digital nomad, I can only say the more you fear it, the more you should do it. And it's worth it, especially if you're young and you can still take big risks. Don't think about it too much because sometimes, I mean, you should have a plan, but there will always be options that you cannot see before you actually pursue it. So, for example, when I went to Buenos Aires and Argentina the first time, I actually uh, walked in there and I got a job offer right away. So I didn't need that job because I already have income. But, you know, you're blind to the things that can go wrong, but you're also blind to the things that can go right. There's a lot of potential that that can happen, or potential things that can happen that you that you that you're not that you're not able to see yet. And sometimes when you make those choices, like me, there's actually some things that you didn't expect that that happen afterwards so life will reward you for taking this hardcore choices and um yeah i mean this digital nomad lifestyle is quite cool i would say because if you make money from from a western country like germany or the usa 
that money will just get you very very far here and much further than in the western world currently and i mean what the hell do you want to do in the western world anyway you have like presidents who are not even able to remember their name at this point you have corrupt feminist woke leaders like the Latin American culture is so much better right now. I mean, people are open. They don't have this woke bullshit here, at least not to this extent. And um, you can date a lot of attractive, high quality women. Okay, some of them are a bit crazy, I have to say, but um, they're they're flocking towards you. You don't even have to do anything, you know. So not to say that I didn't have any um, that I didn't have any uh, luck in in Europe. I also had luck with women there, but. It's been more fun here, for sure. So, I would say it's definitely worth it. And I don't see why anything would hold you back from coming here. Just build a plan, like me. Um, and then jump into the cold water. At some point, I just jumped into the cold water. And I did it. I bought a ticket. I just did what I was afraid of. And it paid off big time. So, yeah. If you want my help doing the same thing if you've been dreaming to coming to south america or living as a digital nomad you can schedule a conversation with me from the comments i would be happy to help you and see what i can do for you again link us in a comment schedule a conversation with me there and i will see you in the call peace